Today marks World AIDS Day and UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has taken the opportunity to call for more global commitment to combating the epidemic. He's also called for tolerance, saying vulnerable groups deserve protection from stigma and abuse. The UN chief has urged nations to continue their efforts to meet the goal of getting 30 million patients HIV AIDS treatment by 2030. We are motivated to fight AIDS because we know that every child deserves a care, every person deserves a treatment, and all vulnerable groups deserve protection from stigma and abuse. We know that hatred and bigotry spread disease, and as a founders of this movement to taught, silence equals death. Well, World AIDS Day coincides with the launch of a massive trial in South Africa for a new vaccine. More than 5,000 people are involved. Experts hope the vaccine will be, quote, the final nail in the coffin for HIV. CCTV's Jean Keo has more. Scientists say it's a big step towards defeating HIV AIDS. The trial is codenamed HVTN702 and is one of the biggest HIV vaccine trials to date. 5,400 people are taking part. Our main target is, is young girls and young boys, adolescents, before they reach their sexual debut. And we would like to look at a school-based program. And so one of the things we will be doing at the same time as we execute this trial is start to investigate um, the immunogenicity um, of this uh, vaccine in, in other age groups. More than 7 million South Africans are living with the virus. Last year, 180,000 died, and every day, 1,000 are infected. ARVs are helping keep people alive longer, but experts say only a vaccine will stop the epidemic. If this vaccine is found to be safe and efficacious, it could help prevent millions of lives of South Africans that are currently being lost. Two-thirds of those participating in the trial are women, considered to be at highest risk. I've already started educating others and I've already brought others here. And so I understand that it's a long process to do, but three years, uh, six months is nothing. A similar vaccine was used in a trial of 16,000 people in Thailand in 2009. It reduced the risk of infection by more than 30% for three and a half years after the first job. Results from the trial in South Africa are expected in four years. Jen Keo, CCTV. Let's get you more now on that story. I'm joined live from Johannesburg by CCTV's Angela Coppola. Angela, first off, how encouraged are South Africans and the world when it comes to that pivotal HIV vaccine trial? Well, the good news is that the success of the Thailand uh, trial is a precursor or a pointer that the South African trial will probably go in the same way. So it's been accepted as a, a step in the right direction. And if it does work according to the percentages that happen in Thailand, we're on to a good story here. So that's good news. Uh, everybody thinks it's a great start and it's a partial solution to the spread of the virus. The downside, though, is that the results are only due in about four years. And that will give us some definitive answers, but it's four years into the future. And so it could become a blueprint for a sustainable long-term solution. But again, it's that time lag. Our challenge in South Africa is that those thousand people who are being infected on a, a, de a, a yearly basis here. And that's a major concern for us. And yeah. that's every single day. So the battle is far from over, Penina. Right. And what's been planned in South Africa to mark World AIDS Day? Well, most of the attention is going to be focused on one single big event, and that's happening in Davyton, which is in the south of Johannesburg, uh, in Gauteng. The Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa is the keynote speaker there. The Health Minister Aaron Motsoledi is also going to be speaking, as is the Gauteng Premier. Organizers there, of course, are expecting a packed house in the stadium. There are small events that are happening across the country in the major cities, all with the same message. Act responsibly, use a condom, test regularly. Panina. And Angela, like you mentioned, there's thousands of people getting infected with HIV every day in South Africa. So what are the challenges that still remain? Um, what are the main ones when it comes to combating HIV? Well, it's about bringing down those infection rates. So if people being infected every day is happening, it's simply unacceptable. It's something's got to be done there. It's also an issue about getting people to stay on the antiretroviral programs. 
In fact, South Africa has the biggest HIV treatment program in the world with around 3.5 million people on those anti antiretrovirals. And that's according to our Department of Health data. But perhaps the single biggest ch uh, challenge facing people is the stigma that is still attached to people who are HIV positive and the negative reaction from the non-infected people. That's something that we all have to work towards resolving and we must be aware of it as well. Panina? All right. Angela Kupler, live for us in Johannesburg. Many thanks.